Hi, my name is Isabella Campbell, and this is my story. So the first time I went to Circle of Hope Girls Ranch in boarding school, I was five years old. And this was pretty hard because, um, I mean, I was so young, and I was the youngest girl to ever go to Circle of Hope. Um, I don't really remember too much of what happened because I was very young, but I think a lot of it was also very traumatizing, so my brain kind of pushed it away. But I do remember some things. One of the things that mostly stood out to me was um, one time we had pizza and I don't like olives, so I started picking off the olives with the pizza and I got in trouble for that. And so they made me eat a whole bowl of olives until I puked. And I was only five when this happened. Um, I do also remember like standing on the wall 24-7. And standing on the wall is basically just looking at the wall, nothing else, with your hands behind your back. You can't look around, otherwise you'll get in trouble. Um, and you just have to look straight ahead at the wall. Um, I also remember getting in trouble for the way I threw my toilet paper into the toilet. Like sometimes I would crumble it or fold it and they didn't like that so I got in trouble for it. Um, I was also told that um, in church if I had to go to the bathroom they wouldn't let me. So basically I would just go in like my pants or my skirt and um they would just make me sit in it the whole entire time and um then i left and i don't blame my parents for any of this my parents didn't know what was going on if they had have known they wouldn't have sent me there i surely do believe that and i also believe that if a lot of parents knew they wouldn't have sent their children here. I mean, I'm not saying all parents, but I am saying, like, at least mine. I did go back when I was 13, um, and this part was a little bit different. So when I first arrived, there were shirt rankings. Um, ours went from orange, which was new, yellow, pink, green, red, and then I believe it was blue when I first got there that was like staff um and then black black was the lowest they had also put in like neon which was for like runaway or like suicide or whatever um but when I had got there I was put as a yellow shirt because I wasn't considered new but to be honest I remembered nothing about the place like I didn't know like what it looked like I remembered nothing and they kind of expected me to remember stuff and I'm like, I was five. Like, I don't remember anything here. Um, it was basically like jail, except that it was open. Um, the school, it was like all like homeschool, like folder things, like booklets, I guess. And for me, that's not how I learned. I learned physically seeing but they were like, well, this school, you basically, they'd be like, you're stupid if you don't get it because everybody understands this school. Um, personally, for me, it didn't work. I didn't like it. I hated it. I got good grades in it, but I just didn't like it. And most of the time when I got in trouble, it was because of school. Um, working, we would work all the time. It'd be either cleaning the upstairs from top to bottom, scrubbing everything, and going outside, picking weeds, shoveling poop, or, you know, um, digging holes, or whatever it was. That's pretty much what it consisted of. Um, which, in, I know, like, Missouri, in the summer, it gets really, really hot. So it can get up to like a hundred and like thirteen, even probably higher than that. And we would still be out there. And we could only get like water at certain times. But I remember if we did get water, we were like chugging it. Like 
we'd be so thirsty from just sitting out there in our long dresses or our long skirts or whatever they were. They were so hot. Um, that was crazy. I also remember we had to do push-ups for everything. If you made one little mistake, you had to do push-ups. It was 10 push-ups. Now, the supervisors, if they didn't like your attitude, could leave you in push-up position for however long they wanted to. And that, and they could leave you there for a couple of hours. And that hurts, you know, after a while. Um, that was pretty crazy. Um, we also had a thing called, like, dish. It was, like, kitchen cleanup or something like that. And, like, certain girls would go into the kitchen and have, like, 30 minutes to wash 30 trays, like, big trays for the food, cups, and silverware, and plus the dishes that they made for the food. 30 minutes to do all that. Like, that's crazy because... It don't take me, it like takes longer for me to wash like my own dishes in 30 minutes. Like it was difficult for like though like for us just to like wash them. And then if we didn't get done in that amount of time, we would get in trouble, we'd get push-ups or something. It was crazy. Um I do remember being a black shirt. I wasn't a black shirt for long. I was a black shirt maybe twice. But I do remember those times when they were pretty bad. Um, the black shirts basically were treated like dirt. They were treated like nobody, like they weren't a human being. Um, you would eat cold grits or cold oatmeal for breakfast. Um, you would eat bologna sandwiches for lunch and dinner. And you would just have water. And granted, it was food. But at the same time, cold oatmeal and cold grits is literally disgusting like it's i don't know like i would rather eat nothing than eat that um then when i was the black shirt one time they had done like a thing where the girls like who weren't black shirts went to sleep and then the girls who were black shirts had like an hour long workout and it was terrible like we were in our robes in our hot pajamas working out like hard workouts and we were like sweating and all that kind of crap and we like it was after we took a shower so we couldn't just go take a shower afterwards so we would sleep in our sweat and it was so gross um i was also in charge of cowgirls which was like a group of girls who basically fed the animals, took care of the animals, um, all that kind of stuff. And for me, that was probably one of my favorite parts, um, because we were able to kind of just, like, connect with the animals, I guess, and it helped, and it was kind of a fun way for us girls to kind of get away, and, um, I was the leader of them for, like, I think like a couple months before I left and I can honestly say that those group of girls that I had were probably some of the best girls because we all um we all got along pretty well um but it was difficult because we had to wake up at five o'clock in the morning and get done with our chores in about 30 minutes and that's hard we were literally running back and forth back and forth back and forth and if we didn't get done we were getting in trouble for it um then then um right before i left we were going to put up like fences for the horses and um i remember pretty much all the girls were out there like doing stuff and some of the little girls that were there were nine years old so those were like the youngest girls that were there when like when i was 13 and those girls would be treated like crap too they were made to do stuff that like 13 and like 16 year olds and 18 year olds couldn't even do and they're like 
supposed to act like they were older and like they're not like they're nine years old like they're not they're not an adult you know and yeah and then our showers so we got five minute showers and there was one time where it took longer like i guess for the upstairs upstairs shower to get everybody through so they decided to use the downstairs one and it was only for like the black shirts so the black shirts took those because it only had cold water and so and he like brother house made a rule to where there is to have a girl to look over the curtain and watch them take a shower like i understand standing outside the door you know giving privacy but literally watching over the curtain while you take a shower is disgusting um they made me lie about a lot of injuries that i had um i almost sprained my ankle there they made me lie about it saying that oh nothing happened everything was okay and all this kind of crap and literally it it hurt me like it hurt actually um then i also remember one time um so it was like it was winter and it was snowy and me and some other girls with Brother House went to the other property to put out hay. Um, one of the hay bales got stuck on the back of the truck. So he, he told a couple of girls to get on the back to try to push it off. He didn't give a warning that he was going to go super fast and swerve to try to knock it off. So no, none of us knew. And the girls that were in the back, which was me and another girl, when he swerved, we fell off of its truck. And it hurt. Like, it was a hard, like, boom to, like, the ground. And it really, really hurt. And I remember the next day, though, he bait me and the other girl got called down to the office. And if any girl was there, they know that if you got called down to the office, you were scared. You were completely scared because you didn't know if you were going to get screamed at, yelled at, restrained, or busted, or whatever it was. You didn't know. So I was scared to go down to the office, and so was the other girl. And when we got down there, he basically had to, like tell us like he kind of put the words into our mouth saying like oh yeah everything was good that we were okay which me and her aren't going to say anything about it because we didn't want to get in trouble for it you know um to be honest it was just it was a terrible experience all around um they did use their christianity to kind of um, make of their abuse okay the restraints were terrible I never got restrained personally myself but I still remember the screams the cries that would go on for hours on end um I don't blame most of the girls there because you know we all had to do what we had to do to try to get out I was the leader a lot of the time but I hated I didn't want to be a leader to be honest because you know, I felt bad every single time I was because I knew in my heart that no girl should be treated like this. Nobody should be. But once you got to a leader leadership position, it was kind of like you're doing better. So you have a more chance of going home. Um, You know, that's pretty much all. It was like, I do remember Rachel Kelso. She was so sweet. She was such like a happy girl um when i got there she was so excited to see me because she remembered me and her smile was amazing like she was she always brought out the happiness to everybody and she was so sweet nobody i do remember she was older but i didn't know why she was there still the householders never said why she was there still it kind of like remained a mystery i guess um I don't think that she should be there anymore. She, I know she's like older now. There, no, she needs to get out of there because it's not fair that we're able to leave, but she can't. Like, especially how long she's been there. She doesn't deserve it. She's such a sweet girl. She doesn't at all. Um, but this is my story. I am 18 now. I live an amazing life. Um, 
I am no longer with my parents, but that's for different reasons. Um, I, it, it's very sad to me that I'm having to say this stuff about the householders because while I was there, you know, I thought of them like as some caring people. I really did. And I was like, you know what? They're doing a good thing. But now, after hearing everything and having to look back on my experience, I know that this isn't right. That they need to get shut down. They need to pay for what they've done to their children, to all these girls that have come in. And so no other child has to go through this. Um, but yeah. Thank you.